Hello and welcome everybody to the second part of our IIC OSIC tools tutorial. In this part, we will uh, use XGIM for schematic entry and then GSPICE for circuit simulation. In the first part, you should have learned how to uh, set up the Docker container and you should see now um, a terminal in front of you. And before we start with the tutorial itself, we need to set up the PDK accordingly. So we have a command that's called sak-pdk. And if you press enter, you see all the available PDKs. For this tutorial, we will use the GF180MCUD PDK. So you just type sak-pdk and the PDK name and hit enter. And now everything's good to go. So for starting XCAM, just type XCAM into the terminal and hitting enter. So we can just make this larger. And the first thing you got to do is to get to know with some useful um, hotkeys uh, of XCAM. So for example, um, there's the zoom full uh, command, which you can uh, execute by pressing F or you can also call it from the toolbar up here. It's very useful if you like scroll around um, and want to like zoom again, just hit F. Um, yeah. So let's open a new schematic by creating a new tab over here. First we will save this. And here in this dialog, you can see um, already some path that available. First of all, we have this uh, devices like the standard um, X game and GSPICE uh, symbols. Then we have the force designs where your files are located. You should have like an empty folder here. I have some files already in there. And then there's the uh, PDK symbols here. So we want to save our file in our force designs um, directory. And since we want to uh, design a simple CMOS inverter, we just call this inv.schematic and pressing enter. So as I already mentioned, you can, you have this, now this canvas, you can like scroll with the mouse wheel. You can, if you press the mouse uh, wheel, uh, you can drag the canvas. And for example, you can here on the um, options you see the half snap threshold double snap threshold with g and shift g which will come in handy later on so here in the bottom left corner you see like the snap grid set to 10 if you press g it gets halved and shift g we're getting it back to the original value this is especially handy if you want to um, draw some nice symbols later on um yeah then you see you have some tools in there. The most useful, which we will use today is probably the insert symbol. So there are shortcuts as well, like the insert a key or shift I. And there's also like a help section and if you press help and keys, you get like all important mouse bindings and also key bindings for X scheme. It, if you know, a lot of them you can definitely like speed up your like drawing schematics. So now we want to insert some symbols. So we go to the devices, the standard devices, and we search for a title. So we can just place this here. And now we have this instance. And if you press select it, or just like press select it and press the right mouse button, you can edit attributes. And for example, we will type in our name in there, hitting OK. You can also bring up this properties dialog by selecting an instance and pressing the Q button. So it gives you the same result. And now we're pressing Shift I, forgetting the, the symbol uh, dialog again. And now if you don't see any um, path here, but you maybe want to have some, have the PDK symbols, you just press home here. And then you see we have our FOSS design and this, the PDK path, and we just selecting symbols. And then we can also like enlarge this window and 
scroll down to the end of it and select in the a three volt 3.3 device and doing the same for the PFET. Now before we wire up everything we also get some um, some input output pins. So we're going back to the standard devices and typing in pin here. You can see we have like an I pin, an IO pin and an O pin. So we need the IO pin we will use for uh, VDD and VSS. And if you have like a, an instant selected like this, you can just press Shift R for rotating the symbol or Shift F for flipping it. So you can just place it and then also like you have to copy it, just select it, press the C button and you're good to go. And again, we can like mark, um, select it and press the Q button and just give it a name, VDD and VSS. Now you can bring up this dialog again and look for the input pin. You can also then do this again for the output pin, but I'll also show you an alternative. So we can call this VI. And you can also just like copy this, place it, and then pressing the Q button, or like going, having the properties. And you can just like here, if you know what you want, if you want an output pin, so open, you can just like change it here, and also changing the O and hitting enter, and you get the output pin. Now we have all the symbols that we need for now. So um, before wiring up, uh, we can also like um, redefine the sizes of our transistors. So you open here the properties menu again with the Q button, and then you can like uh, change the number of fingers, the, the uh, W and L. And you can also like mark multiple instances and then hit Q. And if you I uh, have the preserve unchanged properties. You can also add it like a PFET and NFET at the same time. For example, during every setting the W to one micrometer. And OK, and you can see it's still a PFET and it's still an NFET. And you just change the W here. And now we're good, for, good to go to wiring our circuit. So for wiring, you have like the W uh, shortcut. And also get like tools, insert wire here or a snap wire. So you can also do shift W and I'll show you the difference. So if you press W, the wire will just start from where you uh, where your mouse pointer was located. And if you do shift W, it will automatically snap uh, to the nearest pin. And if you just press W, if you press the right mouse button the wire will end and if you press W again you can do some yeah well some crossings and if you press the space bar well here you can also see and change how you want to continue your, your wires and also useful is like the U button for undo so we can just wire everything up here Connecting the kids together and connecting source and bulk to VDT of the PMOS and source and bulk of the NFET to VSS. Now you may also want to add some titles. You can do in the text here, maybe type the CMOS in Rotor and placing it over here. So we have a nice schematic. So we hit save. And now we want to create the symbol. So you have the option here in symbol and make symbol from schematic or also the A shortcut. So we say OK. And now X game create the symbol and we open this in a new tab. Going to our FOSS designs. And here we have like we created this file. And now XGAME automatically created the symbol for us. So we 
got all the pins that we want, um, but we don't want this uh, simple rectangle, so we draw our own symbol. For this, we again have the tools, so we can have some lines, rectangles, some circles. So when again, we want to draw, for example, a line here, and with L, we can draw like a nice rectangle. Now we want to draw a circle. And if you select it and pressing M, you can just move it around and you see now the changing the snap will come in handy. So we're pressing G and another time G and now we can place it nicely and to make sure to like going back to the to the standard snap grid so you don't place any pins uh, off grid, which can be annoying. So now we may also want to place a rectangle. Um, for example, like this. And now it's filled, so you can just edit the properties and add a fill equals no. And now you have a rectangle. And now we can just use our pins, select them, like you can just select, drag the pin, and rearrange everything to your likings, marking and move. So we place this here. And now again we see yeah, this is going to work. So you need to Change the grid again. Oopsie. So, and again, getting the VDD, rotating this. And also the VSS. So then here the at sim name, it will just like put the, the name of the symbol, in this case INV in the schematic. Since we already draw a nice inverter symbol, we don't need this. We can delete it with the delete button. And then we have the, this name, so we can place this sample over here. That will be the, the designator. And before we like close this, we can first of all set the top left corner to the origin, for example. And now in the symbol, we can also not just edit some properties of some instances, so some wires, some rectangles, but you can, for example, also, if you want to rename something, you can rename here, you need to select the pin and here then the, the text. And you also have the option to edit the attributes of the symbol itself. And for example, you can, change the default uh, template name of the designator, for example, to inverter. If you want to do some uh, parameters later on, you also need to insert them here, but we'll not do this today. So we save it and yeah, now we get to go to creating our test bench. So we open up another tab and saving this as inverter db 